Hello and welcome to this training session on Unix VI Editor. Now I know that the VI Editor can be a little scary and daunting for the Unix beginners. So in this session, we'll take a look at some basic operations that can be performed in the VI Editor to edit a file. So let's begin. So this is a sample file that we're going to work with in today's session. And as you can see that there is some person related data in this file. So we have the first name, the last name, the company name, the address, city and state of some people. And let's assume that it's customer data for some organization. Now, before we start with any of the operations, we need to understand that there are two modes of the VI editor. And these two modes are called the command mode or the normal mode and the insert mode. Now the command mode to enter the command mode, you have to press the escape key. Now in this command mode or normal mode, you can perform any operations like delete the word, delete a sentence, move up and down the file or things like that or search and substitute in the file. So all these things can be performed in normal or command mode. The other mode can be entered by pressing the key with the character or with the alphabet I on it. So once you press that key, you can see at the bottom, there is something called the insert written. So that is the name of the mode as well, insert. And as the name suggests, insert mode would allow you to perform any kind of typing operation. So if you want to insert any kind of data in your file, for example, let's say you want to insert something, some characters A, B, C in this file, you want to append it as the last record in your file or anywhere in between the file. Then to perform any of this kind of operation where you are typing data or inserting data or characters in your file, that becomes an insert operation. So that is can be performed only in the insert mode. And as I mentioned before, you can enter the insert mode by typing the alphabet I on your keyboard. So two modes, normal or command mode and insert mode. Insert mode for performing any kind of typing or insert data operation. For all other kind of operations, you have to use the normal or command mode that can be entered by pressing onto the escape key. So now you can see we are now in the insert mode and now I want to go back to the escape mode, to the normal or command mode. So I have to press the escape key. Once I press the escape key, the insert that was displayed at the bottom would disappear, meaning that now we are in the in normal or command mode. So let's begin with some operations for off the command mode and then we'll move on to the insert mode. Now let's say we have all this data in the file and now I want to perform some delete operations. So let's say um, this person whose name is, let's say, Alicia, now somebody entered the name incorrectly and it's not it's spelled incorrectly in this file and i want to remove this a l i s h i a so instead of s h i a it is actually a l i c i a so that is the new spelling for this name and that is how they want it to be spelled so now what i can do i have to go and delete the letters S and H or the alphabets S and H from the data. So what I can do, make sure that I am in the command mode. So press escape once again, if you're not sure. Once I've pressed escape, I want to delete these two alphabets S and H from this position on which my cursor is getting displayed. So I have to make sure that my cursor is on the right alphabet or at the right place where I want to delete a character. And the operation that you need to do to delete one character, which is S, is to press the X alphabet on your keyboard. So press the X alphabet and you can see that the S has now been deleted. And now the cursor has moved on to the next alphabet, which is the H alphabet. I want to delete that as well. So I press the X once again and it would delete that alphabet as well. So now this those two characters or those two alphabets which I did not want have been deleted by using the command mode and pressing the X key. X is the key that you need to press to delete one character at a time.
right so now i have deleted the characters that i did not want now what i want to do i wanted to actually replace the ch over here with or the sh over here with the c so now i want to i need to insert a c to insert a c what i need to do is come out of the escape mode and go to the insert mode because now i want to enter some data i want to type in some data so now i have entered the insert mode and now once this insert is getting displayed at the bottom which means that i am in the insert mode i can press on to the alphabet which i want to enter making sure that my cursor is getting displayed over the right alphabet so let's say i have pressed i to enter into the insert mode and now i press c so the c has got inserted just before the alphabet on which the cursor was getting displayed so now this is alicia which is the way we wanted the name now this name is correct as per our requirement so this is how you can toggle between the two modes and make the necessary changes data changes to your file so this was an example that involved the use of both the modes let's go back to the escape mode and do some simple delete operations now so let's say now that i want to delete this last line which i've got and this the whole line i want to delete so if you want to delete the whole line then the operation that you have to perform making sure that you are in the escape mode you have to press double d so you press double d and the whole line would be deleted so that is the operation to, if you want to delete the whole line now making sure that we are in the escape mode let's explore some other uh, operations delete operations so let's say i want to delete one word at a time so in this whole sentence what i want to delete is let's say i want to delete this word mosoko so i want to delete this word so what is the operation to delete that i can i can also use the x operator that we saw earlier but that would need to be pressed a number of times until i have deleted all the characters of this word i want to delete this word at one go so there is another operation that i can perform and that is the dw operation so dw and the whole word would be deleted so this is how you can delete the whole world whole word as well now let's go to this the second last record that we have got and now what i want to do is i want to delete the last two lines so now what i want to do is delete the last two lines or last two records in this file at the same time so what can you do we know for recording one rec for deleting one record in a file the operation that needs to be performed or the key um, elements that need to be pressed are dd that is double d so to now delete two now two file two records in the file starting from where the cursor is placed you simply need to specify the number of lines that we want to delete so two is the number of lines that we want to delete and then press dd so what i've done is simply press 2 dd and it has deleted two lines together for me similar way can be performed for deleting the word so let's say i want to delete the first two words here so what i will need to do or let's go three i want to delete the three the first three words over here that so what i need to do is press three dw and the first three words would be deleted from here so this is how the delete operations can be performed in the escape mode you have to make sure that you are in the escape mode to be able to perform these kind of operations. So these are one kind of operations. Moving to another kind of operations. As we already saw a small example of inserting data. Let's go back to the insert mode and insert some more data. So I have now pressed the insert mode and now you can see my cursor is pressed over here. So what I want to do basically is add data to this file so i want to append some data so let's let me just press and enter to go to the last line and i am in the insert mode because the insert is getting displayed at the bottom so let me put some data so i'm just putting something like end of file 
So I've inserted this data and a file by being in the insert mode and typing the characters that I wanted inserted in the file. Now let's say I want to add the file name. So I want to now change this and put it as end of file customer. So what can I do now? So there are two uh, ways you can insert data into the file by pressing the I that will take you to insert mode and then you can insert the characters. So we are currently in the I mode. You can see the cursor is placed at the last character of this line, which is E. And let's say I want to now type something. So I press a space button because I want to type end of file customer. So space. Now you'll observe that when I press the space bar, the space is inserted before the last character E. And this is because the cursor was hovering on the E alphabet over here. So when you are in the insert mode, the data that you type or the characters that you type from the keyboard would always be inserted previous to the alphabet on which your cursor is hovering but i want to append data so to be sure and to be on the safer side always press the a button the a button would also take you the insert take you to the insert mode so you can now insert data but you are now in append mode so the append mode would help you to add the data to the file so it is always a safer operation to go for the append mode now see let's see the difference let's my cursor is now hovering on the e alphabet which is the last alphabet of this line i press the escape to make sure that i am in the command mode and now i'm going to press the i if i press the i you can now see that the cursor hovers on the e now let's go back to the command mode and bring a cursor to E and now instead of pressing I to come to the insert mode I'm going to press the alphabet A on the keyboard to come to the insert mode or the append mode as it's called so now I press append and you will see that the cursor has moved on to after E because it is now ready to append data to the file so now I press the space and now I can put the file name as I wanted to put earlier. So this is the difference between the insert and append mode. Now let's go and look at some other interesting commands which are very helpful while navigating or editing the data through the file. So what we now probably need to do is replace some characters or some string in the file with some other string. So let's see. So we have, you can see the, the address, the addresses are mentioned as Blue Gum Street and the street uh, over here, let's say 3273 State Street. These streets are mentioned in short forms as S and T. Now let's say there's a requirement when I want to replace the ST by S-T-R-E-E-T. -E so the proper full uh, spelling of street. So that is a requirement. Um, replace or substitute the short form with the proper uh, spelling of street so how can you do that how can that be done again go back to the escape mode press your colon and now what you do need or what you would need to do is make a search for substituting the data so i want to search the entire file now to search the entire file, you have to use the percent operation over here. Percent means that you will be searching the entire file. Now we are going to substitute some characters or strings. So S is what den uh, what denotes substitute, and then again a forward slash. And I will now want to substitute S T. That is what I want to substitute. And you can see that wherever the S T was appearing has got highlighted over here. So that is what I wanted to substitute S T. And I wanted to substitute it with the street. So another forward slash and the string that you want to substitute it with. And then just use a G because I want to substitute it all for all the occurrences. So I've used the keyword G over here. Just press and enter. So you'll see that nine substitutions have been made on six lines. So wherever there was ST that has been substituted with street. But now let's see something else has happened which we did not want did not want to happen. 
so you can see there is something called street date over here you do not want this to happen so this is probably this was state and it replaced st of the state and made it into some incorrect word same thing has happened over here so this was actually steward s-t-u-a-r-t and it has replaced the st from steward and this is now some incorrect name it has created so this is now bad data and we do not want this to happen so let's again undo this action that we had taken press a u so now everything has been undone and you can see that this name over here was steward and these words which were wrongly substituted were state so we do not want these things to be substituted we only want the word st to be substituted so this is the word only substitution so how does how can we do that again go to the escape mode or the command or normal mode press colon to type in your commands now we are searching the entire file so press percent s for substitute and again a forward slash and now to indicate that it's it should be an entire word in itself the thing that we are trying to substitute you have to use a backslash so use a backslash then you have to use an arrow okay use an arrow put s okay t for street and now you can see it has again highlighted all those occurrences of st and then again a backslash and the a closing arrow and now you can see that it has only highlighted the correct word only occurrences of st and now again a forward slash and the string that we want to substitute it with which is street and we want to substitute all the occurrences so g and press enter and now you can see that the gum street this is correct state has not been substituted steward has not been substituted so this is how you can use the substitution commands and substitute some string with some other string in your file so this is a very interesting way of editing as well another command and the last command that we'll be taking a look at today is simply to make it easier for you to understand data in the file and substitute so what you can do go to the escape mode and press a colon to start entering your commands set and number and just enter so what this would do is give the record numbers so it would display the numbers along with the record so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that would make it easier for you if you are navigating through the data or analyzing the data or because you're making changes to the file it might make it easier for you to navigate through the file using the row numbers which are now displayed in the file itself it does not mean that they have been physically appended to the file it's only for the display purpose that now you are able to see the row numbers as well so this is another useful vi editor command as well so these are some of the basic commands that you can start with and play around with and these are also some of the necessary commands that you would use most of the time to be editing your files and there are more advanced commands and there are many 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 more permutations and combinations possible with all these commands which we have discussed today and that it's it's, it's a vast topic in itself but this is a good introduction for the beginners and it would really help you to do many operations that um, you would need to do to edit your data in your files and your day-to-day -day unix task operations as well so this is all in the session for today we'll be making many more videos on unix and we'll be helping you learn unix commands so please subscribe to our youtube channel there are a lot of data warehousing tutorials on our channel thanks a lot for watching the video today thank you have a good day and goodbye